The city of Peoria might be getting into the grocery business. Good Tuesday evening, everyone. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us tonight. But a mayoral candidate is asking if the city ever reached out to the community for input on the matter. Gabby Guerrero has tonight's top story. Was once an Aldi, closed, reopened as a save-a-lot, and that also closed. But now a Peoria City Council member wants to buy this lot and reopen another grocery store. The south side is a food desert. It desperately needs a grocery store. Offering it to a grocer as an incentive to come into the community does nothing but help the community. Council member Denise Moore is asking city council to approve spending more than half a million dollars on the vacant property. Now mayoral candidate Andreas Diaz is questioning the transparency of council regarding communicating with residents. With no input from the local neighborhood group and without opportunity to offer public input is poor form. Diaz says the city is not allowing the community to contribute to decisions, including the local neighborhood group Southside Community for Change. How successful of a project can you have when the most engaged in the neighborhood are excluded from the conversation? We have actively sought community input on everything that we do. Folks who um, are watching the city council meetings are hearing us talk about these things all the time. Diaz also questions the city's fiscal responsibility, but Moore says this purchase would not hurt the city's budget at all. Those funds will come out of TIF, out of the South Village TIF. If we were able to buy this building, it will have no impact on the budget. City council members will vote tonight and either approve or deny Councilmember Moore's proposal. Reporting in Peoria, Gabby Guerrero.